You can calm down. Hello there. Are you lost? A little, I guess. Are you? Yes. Though also just a little. Does that mean you know which way to go? Not quite. Not yet. But I'm sure we'll find the way if we set off together. What happened to you? This? It's nothing. How did you wind up here? My father brought me. Told me to follow the trail of treats and eat my fill. He said he would wait. So I started down the trail. Then I saw a butterfly, and I ran to catch it, and I lost my way. Your father, why did he have you follow the trail of treats? Do you know? Because we had nap to break our fast with. I don't understand. I was naughty. Broke a jug. Spilled all our milk. Your parents must have been angry. Mother said I should be spanked, but father said wouldn't do no good. Too many mouths to feed anyway. Sending me down the trail of treats, that would solve things. You and your father, when did you leave home? This morning. And did the sun warm your face or your back? It warmed my back. So we must go east. Come, I'll walk you home. And explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. See what I've got on my back? Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come, I'll help you up. Could do mm. a lot more. Massacred by something with immense claws. Wait here. Don't come any closer. But... No buts. Stay here. I must see something. Hmm. 
Bloodshot, but still moist. He died recently. Lips parted and bloated. Bit clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Ew, that's horrible. Stay there and look away. Hmm, what's this? Marrow's missing. Interesting. Let's see. The liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tied? No fantasy, it seems. Except he's a werewolf. What happened to him? He had a fall. My mm, bet. The Wolf King got him. <laughs> when did children get so smart? What will we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver, but I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No. A far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's bane, fool's parsley, and wolf's liver. The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Not my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir. You 
can come out. You cut him up bad. The Wolf King will be angry. All right, I have everything. Now for a spot where I can build a fire, and brew the oil in peace. What are you doing? Greasing my blade. There. We'll see just how effective Uncle Vesemir's formulae are. settlement nearby. Do parents often send their children out to follow the sweets? Sometimes they send their children. Sometimes they do themselves. Do they return? No. Why would they? They've plenty to eat where the path ends. It's a bit dark. Afraid? Are you? No. Then I'm not either. Never seen anything like it. Go. You can come out now. Come on. You're lucky we came this way. Found someone far less fortunate in the forest. Baron, must be. We was returning from Midcops when the brute attacked. I managed to flee, but Yaren there. The little one. No details. You have bandages at home. Some spirit? You laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. I've, I've not missed, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. Might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord.
Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? You'll not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hands on you. So, stew any good? Very. Thank you. I'd not eaten in... Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you, once you've eaten. And you could do with some sleep. Gretka in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I sh... Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. So I ordered my men to watch her and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. I want... I need to find her. Understand? I need every last bit of information available. I understand. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. Fine. I'll help you. I'll find your family. But then you'll give me every bit of information you have. You have my word. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon. As if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Then let me work. <sighs> Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. When she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Do you know what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's wump on the other side of the wall? <laughs> you white one. You see it like there? You oh, oh, what's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll flay him alive. Here it is. Damn it! Jammed again. Vengeance. Tomorrow's room is there. Wonder what it unlocks. Try not to mind of this. For their return, I want everything Sandalwood. to be as they left it. And something else. Saffron. Use some hair of the hound. Got any vodka? Plowing hangover. Well, bring out the gimp. Ooh. You.
An altar. So, the Eternal Fires made it to Velen. So, the Eternal Fires made it to Velen.
now you. The ace. Uh, oh, let me uh, alone. Well, bring out the gimp. Make the gimp sleepy. Well, I guess you just have to go wake him up now, won't you? What do you seek here, Vagrant? So Siri was here. A spinning top. Gritka's toy. Siri must have used these. Looks like she left in a hurry. The Natural Obscurity of Curses by Lydia Van Bredevoort. Where'd Siri get this? Gonna kill the monsters? All of them. So you're Gretka. And you're Geralt. How do you know? Because you've white hair and a medallion shaped like a wolf. Siri told me about you. You and Siri talked a bit, didn't you? We did. Did she say where she was going, or what she came here to look for? She said she was looking for you, and a sorceress. But you're here, so I guess she didn't find you. I wonder if she helped that friend of hers. Siri wanted to help a friend? Any idea who it was? What do you mean, who? 
Her friend. She said he was in trouble and that she had to save him. Look familiar? My top. Where'd you find it? Siri's room. We'd play in her room sometimes. I was sad one day, and Siri carved it for me. Such a shame she had to leave. Do you know where Siri is? No. One day I brought her breakfast, and she was already gone. The Baron told me she'd left. Didn't ask where she'd gone? I did. But he said I was too little and I wouldn't understand. But Siri left me a gift. A gift? Yes, this. A green stone. Beautiful as gifts go. Hide it well. Don't show it to anyone. It's worth a lot. Thanks, Gretka. Have fun. But I'm not playing. I'm helping. Bissell. Thistle. Shanana King. I need a good plow. Plowing, eh? Candlestick. Stem's broken. a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. The Baron and his wife. <laughs> Look happy enough. What's this? Ah, gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole, and what's on the other side. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. Hmm, it 
gets interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm. Fight might have happened here. I'll look for clues. of the candlestick and wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle from Toussaint. Yeah, Ervalus. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. You, white one, look like you got soused last night, too. Damn, trail breaks off. Could find something else, though. Spruce wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman. Protective. Question is, against what? Won't find much else here. Plowing hangover. Nothing here for you. Well, bring out the gimp. I think the gimp's sleeping. Well, I guess you'll just have to go wake him up now, won't you? Hey! You, white one, look like you got soused last night, too. <laughs> P 
plowing hangover. You, white one, look like you got soused last night, too. Plowing hangover. Done poking around? Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing! Not a one of them! Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads must be. Lushes, one and all. Give your men air loose? Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. Was it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coot lives near Blackbow, and there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Ought to have a chat with this Pella. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it, he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies. Just want to ask about the amulet. Blowing hangover. You, white one, look like you got soused last night, too. What fucked up face? Why are you chopping this? I'm fashioning a new model. Two things. 
How may I assist you? Looking for someone who can craft me some armor. Gotta be top quality. Well, I've been at it 20 years now. Mastered the craft in some respects, if I do say so myself. <laughs> you wish. Don't listen to her. She's been sore lately, snorting every chance she gets. So, what kind of armor are we talking about? Light, but durable. Can't constrain movement, and I gotta be able to get in it without anybody's help. That all? Sure it shouldn't be self-cleaning. And how about it wipe your arse after you take a shite in the bushes? <laughs> Sounds great. Can you make a suit like that? No, but find someone who can and I'll gladly meet them. Ought to know one thing when it comes to armor. If it's got to be durable, it can't be light. It can. Just needs the proper tools to make it. Tools like the folk of Clan Tordoroch use on Undvik. Joanna, I told you time and again to stay silent when I talk to customers. Shouldn't pester folk with those nonsense Skellige legends of yours. It ain't legend, and it ain't nonsense. My granddad would go to Undvik for his armor. Said Tordoroch folk made the best. Till last year, that is, when a giant ravaged their island. Inhabitants either ran off or died, but the forge should still be in one piece. Worth looking into. Say I find the tools. Will you craft the armor for me? <clears throat> On condition you bring the tools. But only then. These legends mention where the forge might be? Yes. North side of the isle, in a cave. Clan folk carved out a rock face to build it. Look for the tools next time I'm in Skellige. Take care now. Who me is? Need some armor. Yearning to play a few rounds of Gwent. That ought to set me straight.